Lenovo 710S was one of the best laptops of last year. Slim, stylish, powerful and yet comfortably cheaper than the most premium thin and light laptops. Now Lenovo is back with the 720S, which brings a tweaked design, a slightly larger screen and the intriguing addition of Nvidia graphics. Just as before though, the key appeal of this laptop is its all metal exterior. Metal just looks and feels nicer than plastic and gives you that sense of a premium product. Though again like before this isn't a unibody construction like a MacBook, where the chassis is hewn from a solid chunk of metal, instead it uses thin sheets of metal wrapped around a plastic interior. As such you don't get the same rigid feel and sense of solidity, but that's why it's cheaper. What you do get here is a nice slim bezel that means despite this laptop having a 14 inch screen, its footprint is only 321 by 223 millimeters. It's also just 15.9 millimeters thick and weighs 1.55 kilograms. So not the smallest or lightest, but easily the sort of laptop you can take with you anywhere. Also, unlike some smaller laptops, you don't miss out on connectivity. You've got a full-size HDMI, USB 3, Thunderbolt and SD card reader on the right, and a second USB 3 and a headphone jack on the left. The Thunderbolt port can't be used for charging, but instead there's a conventional power socket. You get all the usual extras too, with a 720p webcam above the screen, a fingerprint reader below the keyboard, and underneath the front edge are a couple of surprisingly decent speakers. As to the screen, Lenovo has decided to go with a bezel-less glass front this time, rather than the more conventional style used before. This means the laptop's overall design looks better, but has the downside of added reflections. Otherwise, the screen is very good. Its high contrast figure means there's a real depth to the image, plus its colour balance and accuracy are very good too. Whether working, gaming or watching video, it looks great. Being an IPS LCD panel, viewing angles are spot on too. Its 1080p resolution isn't quite on the same level as the retina type displays of the most expensive laptops, but it's still plenty on a screen this size. The keyboard meanwhile is good if not quite up there with the best. The layout and size is fine and the presence of backlighting is very welcome, however the key action is just a touch inconsistent, making speedy touch typing a little trickier. It's a similar story with the trackpad. It's nice and spacious, has responsive accurate tracking, and its click action is sharply defined. But again, there's a step up to the likes of the Dell XPS 13. All of which brings us to perhaps the most interesting aspect of this laptop, which is what's under the hood. But by that I don't mean the CPU. You get the same Intel Core i5 or i7 options as the 710S. Instead it's the addition of Nvidia graphics which makes things intriguing. The 940MX chip that's been added to most variants of the 720S doesn't make this laptop into a gaming powerhouse, but definitely opens things up a little. On just the Intel graphics alone it will struggle to play most proper games, but here you can comfortably play the likes of CSGO. What's more, the addition of this extra grunt doesn't appear to impact battery life too much, as you'll still get close to 10 hours out of this laptop. However, one thing it does impact is price. Where the 710S started at around £700, the 720S isn't available, at least here in the UK, for less than 850. For that you get a speedy 256GB SSD and 8GB of RAM, both of which can be easily upgraded by taking the bottom off the laptop, but that's still a price that many won't be willing or able to stretch to. And I can't help but wonder if Lenovo could have dropped that starting price by £100 or so if it offered a non-NVIDIA version. Either way, this is still very much a laptop that's worth getting. It's just a shame fewer people will be able to afford it.